You're probably asking, how do people even make money online? Usually when we think of going in business, we think that we have to put up capital and open up a storefront and you know put all this money up front and it's five years before we even start making any money. And it's not like that anymore. As long as you have an internet connection and a website and some knowledge, you can make money online and you can make a substantial amount of money. You can earn enough to quit your job, but it's not going to happen overnight. Like any business, you have to put the time in where it's needed to get the business off and running. But eventually, as you start making money, you can start outsourcing part of the different tasks for your job. And that's where when people talk about passive income, that's where some of the passive participation from you comes in when you start to outsource and you back off how much time that you have to invest. But I'm going to be honest, in the beginning, it's not passive, um, but it can cr go into that um, when, you, when you're smart and how you, how you do things. But let's talk about five common revenue incomes online. There, these are the five common ways of making money, but there are more. Um, these are some of the, um, I'm gonna go over them and how you can make money and what you need to do. For instance, let's think about um, you have. Let's think about lawyers or life coaches or um, personal trainers. Uh, who else do we have? We have um, business consultants or freelancers. Okay, all of those people are offering a. They're, they're offering a service and their service is their expertise that they have in a certain area and they're offering that to you. So personal trainer is an easy one to understand. So let's say you've been working out, you're trying to lose weight and you can't, you're really getting frustrated. Well, a lot of people will go to the gym and they'll hire a personal trainer and what you're hiring that person for is their expertise in that area. And anymore, you don't have to go to the gym to get that. You can get it online and then do your workout at home, but it's the same principle um, do it in the brick and mortar building or do it online so if you are a personal trainer and you're at a gym you could start your business online or a side business online as well these people are solving problems so think of a lawyer um, maybe you're getting ready to go to court you're not sure how to get prepared um, you don't really want to go to an office and pay top dollar maybe you can find somebody online who's starting a business and they will sell you their expertise in that area. Maybe it's somebody who's familiar with the routine of the courtroom and they'll say, I'm not a lawyer, but this is how I worked as a court stenographer or something. And I'm familiar of how things work. And these are some of the things you can expect. So you can, I, I had seen um, a website where a special ed teacher, she started a, a website and she was selling her expertise in pre helping prepare a parent in going into an IEP meeting, an I individual educational plan, IEP meeting for a, a child that may have a disability in a certain area. And she was very familiar with this. She's an expert because she's a teacher. And what she was seeing was a lot of times parents were afraid, they didn't know what to expect, who was gonna be there, you know, all of that. And so she was selling a document that explained all that to help the parent get, I thought it was genius myself because it, she was good at it. And she knew that there was a need for that. And people were asking that having a problem and she was solving the problem. So think outside the box. It doesn't have to be all those things that you just heard me say, because you're probably sitting there going, well, I'm not a personal trainer. I'm not a freelancer. I'm not, you know, a lawyer. Think about what you're an expert at and see if there's a need or people searching and asking questions about that. Um, I know dog trainers probably could easily build a business. I, I've seen, that's really huge um, on the internet if, if you look around. So if you're really good at training animals and you know maybe you don't wanna start a business at home, who does, right? But you could start making videos and come up with a course or, or have some kind of a, a, a place where people can come to get that help, one-on-one um, -on -one training and Usually it's encouragement if you think about it. People just want their hand held um, as they're having their problem solved. So um, selling services is huge. Now, three advantages of selling, having a service-based business is it's very, very easy to get started because you already have the knowledge. All you have to do is organize it and turning it into a business. Um, you get to work directly with clients, which a lot of people enjoy that who are service oriented. And you get to charge an hourly rate and you get to set it. You don't have to wait for your boss to set that rate. 
you get to set it. You get to decide what your time is worth. And eventually, when you start getting lots of clients, you can start charging by a project. So you might say, I'm going to guarantee within 30 days, this is what I'm going to provide and this is what it costs. So um, people then know right up front what they're paying. A lot of times people would rather do it that way anyway. And the better you get at it, um, the more known that you get, the more you can charge. The more that you prove to people, the more testimonials that you have and people say that you're the real deal, they're willing to pay more for your service. Now, one of the things I want to emphasize with any of this is you can have the best service-based business in the world or the best whatever, but if people don't know about you, then you're not going to sell anything. So you have to start building a customer base and people usually do this through social media platforms and they start building an email a collection of emails for people so that they can continue to reach them through email. You've seen it yourself. And while this training isn't about that, I do have a free course below about email marketing and how to build that customer base. And there's also a, a, a video at the end that I'll give you that will help you as well. So, you know, look at those, they're both free, but that'll give you an idea of what you're getting into before you start getting excited about everything. There is work involved for the foundation part. So build that customer base, that's very important. Even your retail stores, when you go to buy something at Kohl's or even Target, wherever, they say, can I have your email address? They're building up their customer base so that later when they have coupons or different sales or different ways to entice you to come back into the store, all they have to do is send you an email and you'll respond. Number two is physical products. Now, physical products are basically when you set up an e-commerce business. There's um, lots of people that have been very, very successful with this, but it is more hands-on because there is a physical product. So you're going to have to invest time in managing. Uh, you have to manage sourcing materials. Um, you have to play a role in the manufacturing. While you're not actually manufacturing it, you have to find a manufacturer to manufacture that product. And then you sometimes have to manage the shipping and handling. Now, some people will build a e-commerce business through Amazon. That is possible. Um, and some people just build it themselves on sites like Shopify and things like that. Now, I do have a e-commerce expert that has an, a webinar. It's free below, and you can get an idea of what that looks like and what it entails. So again, it doesn't cost anything, but go through that and see um, what is enti entailed in doing that. One of the biggest advantages of a physical product business is you have loyal customers. While it does take you more time and it's more hands-on, you do create a base of customers who will come back and keep buying from you over and over. Because obviously you're going to sell more than one product. So they, they get to know you, like you, and trust you, and they'll come back for more because you've been your service has been so good, they're going to come back and get more from you. So that is one of the biggest advantages. Number three is my favorite information products. Now think about this. Online, you've seen people selling eBooks, video courses, worksheets, guides, templates, all those kinds of things. They're all digital products and people create them and then they sell them online. And as you can see in the picture, that's the best way to explain it. You're not getting something in the mail. It comes to you online. There is more the, the advantage of information products is it does take upfront time getting it set up. If you're going to write a book, obviously it's going to take you time. But once you create that digital product, it's done. And you just keep selling that same digital product over and over and over. And it's not really costing you anything. It's not costing you any money or any more time. Where your time is spent is in the marketing. Is get it, Again, you've got to get it out there so people can see it. You can have the best video course in the world, but if nobody knows about it, you're not going to sell it. And another benefit that I love about digital products is let's say you make a digital course and you know, you've been selling it for three or four years. Well, it's going to need to be updated. So the cool thing is when people buy from you and you go to update it, they don't have to go out and buy another version of your book. It's updated right there in the membership site where the course is listed and they come back three or four years later, you're going to have all these updates in there. And that gets them excited again to see that you're staying up with things and not just selling it to them and leaving it there. So same thing with an ebook, you can go in and update it. So it's pretty cool. Um, and like I said, my favorite thing, because I do like the information process and being able to teach people things with video and not having to worry about going somewhere to do it in a brick and mortar, brick and built, huh, brick and mortar building. 
Now, number four, you're going to think, well, why is this even on here? Um, this does, this is a way to bring in revenue. Okay. And maybe you're not looking to collect donations, obviously as a business, um, to make money and quit your job, but maybe you're involved in nonprofits. And in the past you had to send out snail mail letters. You had to get uh, radio, pay for radio ads, uh, maybe television ads. Think of all the money and the advertising and the percent of that income for the, for the nonprofit that went to things like that. Well, now you can do it on the internet and a high percent of that money is going to go right to your cause. And so use the business model that you see that people are using in other businesses and use it for your nonprofit business and for donations. And one of the things I recommend doing is just find other companies that are advertising online and follow their model and see what they're doing. You know, even give a donation so you can go through and see how everything works and then follow that model for your own nonprofit. But it definitely brings in a lot of revenue compared to what people had to do before. And the last one is a subscription business. Now there's two ways of doing this. These are really nice too, but you really have to establish yourself before you can start doing this. And one is a product model and one is a pricing model. And I don't know if you can see this little chart. Well, let me go to the product model first. Basically, this is a company, they're called Nature Box and they sell hair products and things like that. And go ahead and Google them and you know look at their ads and things. But what they do is they have a recurring membership where you order your shampoo and then you go in and set it up when you want it to be automatically delivered. And you see that a lot in other products. They'll say, hey, just set this up um, a monthly order and we'll automatically send it to you. And so that guarantees them that they have that reoccurring revenue coming in. Now, how does a pricing model work? Because you might say, well, I don't have a company with physical products. So doesn't apply to me. But the pricing model or the subscription model for a membership um, model does. For instance, you'll see some influencers out there that will have a free Facebook group and they're giving all this um, information for free. Look up Ray Higdon. He's a good example. He trains people in multi-level marketing companies, how to generate leads and things like that. He's been doing it for several years. Well, he has a training Facebook group that you have to pay to be a part of. And he is so reasonable. I think he charges $20 a month and, but he has like 6,000, 10,000 people in there at this point. He's been doing it for a while. And every morning he goes in and does a live Facebook training and it may be 10 minutes. It may be 30 minutes but his customers, his members know that for that $20, he comes in every single day and gives them some training. And that is how he makes his money. And if you look at this, you can see how membership sites and Facebook have just skyrocketed. And this is only up to 2017, not even counting the last two years of how it skyrocketed. Now I've seen other people do um, Facebook membership groups where they may come in every Wednesday night, once a week, and do like an hour long training on a certain topic. I've seen that. I've seen some people only go in once a month and then they give you access to all of their free training on a membership site. So if you're going to build it, look at all the different models. Now I have joined membership sites that I've quit because if they're asking me to give a monthly fee and all they're doing is coming in once a month, I don't think that's valuable to me. But if they're coming in you know, once a week and given an hour long training, and then they're always in there um, engaging and helping with questions and answers, then that's what I would be looking for. Um, I know one girl, I just saw that she was advertising her membership group. I thought it was a neat idea. And hers is set up more like a book club. They're going to read different um, books that are going to help people with professional development. And then you have that group in there that can discuss it. And you might say, why well, you could do that in a free group. You can, but when people join a free group to do things like that, they don't feel invested. But if I spent $30 to be in that group and to read that book with everyone else, I'm going to get my money's worth. I'm going to read the book and I'm going to engage. It's just the way we think. So those are the five business models um, where you can bring in revenue online. I hope that was helpful to you. And like I said, don't forget the links below and please subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell. It will notify you whenever there's a new video. Right now, I do make a new video Monday through Saturday every day. Sometimes they're short, sometimes they're longer, normally within three to 15 minutes. So I don't, I don't make them really long. I know your time is valuable, but my goal is to help you to build your business and get some, you know, the information you need to help you decide what business you want to build and the skills that you need to do it. So thank you for watching today and I'll see you on the next video.